have, has the department had any input uh, into the design, the governance, the model related to these technical colleges? Uh, and are we able to identify over the Ford estimates how many extra apprentices or trainees uh, are the technical colleges, or, or just take Finden, for example, uh, expected to deliver? Me that reference again. Uh, I'm looking at the program summary, page 174. Uh, grants and subsidies is 358 million, and I'm anticipating that uh, in the years to come that line will be applied to the funding of these programs. Um, I think the only, the only question you could ask is does the funding provide to those programs now? I don't think it's, it's not. I think that's the extent of the. The, the funding extent. line applies to the Ford estimates, sir. Uh, well, if it, if it, is, it, is it in the Ford estimates or not? About to you find out. Okay. Uh, I think the answer that I can give um, the member is um, similar to an answer I've already probably given, and I'm happy to be able to. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to take it on notice, but we'll have more detail, I hope, soon. But the model uh, is still being worked through, as I've said, in response to uh, questions earlier, and we're doing that very closely with industry. Um, uh, because, it, you know, for obvious reasons, about making sure that what's offered at the technical colleges are. Uh, uh, the skills and uh, courses that um, employers like BAE, who joined us yesterday at Finden, are actually looking for. That is underway. Um, uh, negotiation or consultation, rather, with um, the Department of Innovation and Skills, I, I know, will be a part of that broader consultation as well, of course. Uh, and, and I guess once we sort of landed what uh, the actual model will be, we'll be able to answer uh, the question that the member asked in a, in a bit better detail than I can right now. Uh, thank you. Uh, Minister, there's a fellow called Ryan who is appearing in paid TV advertising uh, talking about how much he's looking forward to these technical colleges delivering apprentices that he might be able to take on. Um, mm. How is it that the Minister is saying that the model hasn't been determined yet and we don't know whether there'll be apprentices or how many apprentices when the government is willing to spend taxpayer dollars on advertising, welcoming the fact that they will? So, sorry. Is that, is that advertising part of your portfolio? Yeah, the advertising is not, no. Okay. In the advertising case, is about this portfolio, sir. In, in that case, you can, you can answer it if you wish, but I'm happy for you not to answer it. <coughs> I, I guess what I would say uh, is just that, uh, obviously, uh, what we want uh, the technical colleges to achieve is to um, have, and I've said this in an answer, to previous questions today is to be able to provide a pathway for people from year 10 to year 12 uh, uh, into uh, vocational education and training and then into the workforce and part of that is to make sure that we try to provide uh, people who are, uh, I guess, and I've said this earlier this morning, more uh, ap apprenticeship ready than, than we have had in the past because I think we've probably established um, uh, pretty clearly that we, the feedback we are getting from industry and the feedback that we are getting from employers who directly employ apprentices, as well as the feedback that we have very clearly got from uh, GTOs and RTOs, including um, uh, such as the MTA, 
is that there are issues around the readiness of the people they are taking on board to undertake an apprenticeship and actually complete an apprenticeship. So um, we know that these technical colleges will produce people that can go on and do apprenticeships, uh, as I think is outlined in the, the advertisement to which the member uh, refers. I don't think there's any question on their uh, ability to be able to uh, do that. Um, but there are some things that we are still obviously working through and discussing in terms of the um, uh, more finer details of how uh, the model will work, but I've already spoken at, at length on many occasions, including at Findon yesterday and including at Mount Gambier the week before last, that we will be offering uh, skills around some of the more traditional trades uh, as well, because we have skill shortages in a whole heap of those areas at the moment, including, I think, to name a few, um, electricians, plumbers, um, uh, many of those. Um, so no doubt our colleges will be uh, will have to cater for those if they are to do what they are intended to do and help us meet those skill shortages. So I guess there's no surprise in that respect that we are, are already fielding, I think, not just queries for, on enrolment from parents who might like to see their kids uh, attend one of our five technical colleges, but also questions from employers who have traditionally um, employed apprenticeships, uh, apprentices rather, about um, when they are going to come online and how they can um, make the most uh, and benefit from them. A bit of a very small question with a small answer. Thank you, sir. I note that we uh, started a couple of minutes late, so I'm grateful for your forbearance. Minister, did uh, anybody from the group within government who was putting together the TV ads with Ryan in them uh, speak to your office, yourself, or indeed the Department of Innovation and Skills about the detail uh, of how many apprentices would be delivered by these technical colleges prior to those ads going to air? I just have the question again. Please. Did anybody mm -hmm. from the group within government who was putting together those TV advertisements paid for by the taxpayer speak to either the minister, his office, uh, or indeed the Department for Innovation and Skills to check whether or not there were definitely going to be apprentices uh, underway in these technical colleges before putting those ads to air? I, was, I don't want to end on a negative note after it's been such a, um, a cordial uh, estimates hearing, but I, I, I don't think the question relates to anything in the budget papers for which I uh, am responsible. Uh, but uh, having said that, um, we are certainly talking about, at the very least, pre-apprenticeships, and we'll discuss that at length today. Uh, I don't see any indication that there's anything uh, inaccurate about the ad to which the um, minister refers. I don't think anyone from memory spoke to me about uh, the content of the ad. It, it's, it's not something I've been involved in. I'm sure Ryan will be disappointed. The allotted, the allotted time have, has now expired. I